Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel which provides geography videos for teachers and pupils across the UK. In this video we're going to focus on the natural causes of climate change. The key word here is natural. Now in your exam you will either get a question about the human activities leading to climate change or the natural events leading to climate change. So be very clear on the two. I will be looking at the human activities in another video. Check it out, it will help. But for now, we're gonna look at the natural causes of climate change. Now for your exam, you need to know the four causes. Let's dive straight in. So number one, So there's my volcano. The volcano erupts. And as you know from your tectonic module, large amounts of ash are emitted into the atmosphere. The wind blows that ash around the atmosphere. Now the sun, there's the sun. The sun's rays are unable to penetrate through that very thick layer of ash. Therefore, over a short period of time, up to a year, 12 months, the temperature, T for temperature, reduces. That's cause number one. Cause number two. There's the sun. Now it's been recorded over the years, scientists have recorded this, that they've recorded that they're on the sun, there are dark spots on its surface. This is why this theory is known as the sunspot theory. Now, scientists believe that when the sun has got these dark spots on its surface, it means it's emitting, giving out more heat. And when that happens, the temperature on our planet increases, okay? Theory number three. This is the orbital theory. So as we know, there's the sun. As we know, the earth orbits around the sun. But every 41,000 years, that earth's orbit changes from being, think of this as a, a rugby ball or the shape of an eye, to being more football shaped. So every 41,000 years, the distance the Earth orbits the Sun changes. So the temperature of our planet is going to increase and decrease because of that change in the Earth's orbit. But it's not just that. So our planet, as you all know from your geography lessons, there's an axis. And that Earth's axis, so think of my arm as the axis, it changes and as that earth's axis changes sometimes the earth is going to be hotter or if it moves away from the sun sometimes the earth's temperature is going to be lowered so the orbital theory the change in the earth's orbit increases and decreases the earth's temperature number four Guys, I'm interrupting your geography lesson for 60 seconds only. Stick with me, listen to me. You are probably watching this video right now because you are studying for your GCSE geography. Yes, am I right? Good. Now, are you struggling with your revision? Are you struggling with time management? Do you not know what to revise, how to revise? Are you struggling with exam skill? Are you feeling stressed and just need a little bit of help? If any of that applies to you, help is at hand. Presenting a brand new online tuition geography platform designed to help school pupils across the UK work towards GCSE geography exam success. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present the Genius Geography Guide, a platform designed to help every pupil achieve the grade they deserve. Would you like more information? If you would, very simple, click on the link below this video and all the details that you will need to get yourself onto this platform will be there. 
Now back to your geography lesson. So this one, there's uh, planet Earth. There's planet Earth. There's our massive asteroid just floating through space. The rock of death is going through space and it hits into our planet. And there it goes, <laughs> hits into our planet. All the dust, there's the asteroid now in the planet, all the dust and the ash blasts into the atmosphere. You can imagine it, huge explosion. There's our sun. Once again, just like the volcanic eruption theory, that sun's rays can now no longer penetrate through that very thick layer of ash and dirt. So therefore, the Earth's temperature decreases. The number one reason the dinosaurs become extinct. Asteroid blocked out the sun's heat, vegetation couldn't grow, herbivores had nothing to eat, therefore the carnivores had nothing to eat either, and it disrupted the food chain. So, in summary, when we look at the natural causes of climate change, there's four. Number one, we've got the volcanic eruption theory. We have sunspot activity theory. We have the orbital change theory. And we have the asteroid collision theory. So hopefully that was useful. Um, hopefully it makes sense. Please use it with your revision. If you like this video, please do give it a like, add a positive comment down below and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in my next video.